we have been using joules for the units of work, kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, and the heat. You know, they are the same kind of things, so they should have the same unit. For example, work. Work is the force times displacement times cosine the angle between the two. So in terms of unit, this is a force, newtons, times the displacement, the standard unit will be meters, cosine, there's no unit for it, so it's just a newton times meters. Now, newtons is the standard unit for force, and force is uh, ma. It's mass times acceleration, so it is uh, kilograms times the acceleration is uh, meters per second squared. So it's this newtons times uh, meters. So if I simplify this, I can get kilograms times meters squared per second squared. So this is joules in terms of kilograms, meters, and seconds. Now see if you can show that the kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, and elastic potential energy equations will give you the same thing. So the kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. In terms of unit, let's see, one half does not have a unit. The mass has a unit, kilograms. Speed has a unit, meters per second, and then we have to square it. So this gives us, uh, yes, kilograms times uh, meters squared divided by second squared, same things, joules. And the gravitational potential energy, that's mgy. So in terms of units, that will be mass kilograms. Gravitational acceleration, meters per second squared. Y, height, that's meters. So same thing, kilograms times meters squared per second squared. Of course, we can also say mg, that's uh, weight, newtons. So this is uh, newtons times meters, just like that. What about the elastic potential energy? That is uh, 1 half kx squared. So for units, 1 half doesn't have a unit. The spring constant k has a unit of uh, newtons per meter. And then the x is the stretched or compressed amount, so that's uh, meters, and then you have to square this. So this is uh, newton times meters, which is the same as that. Or we can just combine kx as a force, F equals to kx, and so this will be force kx times x, so newtons times meters. So all of them, they have exactly the same units, like this. I don't have something like these to show you about heat, but in the next video, we will talk about James Prescott Joule and his work on the nature of heat and its relationship to mechanical work.